first uh, race. Nakib Aslan alongside Tasmi. Nakib in the red. Cabin Nissan. He needs to get off to a good start. It's a solid start. Oh, but Nabil was caught on the line. Or oh, was it Indigo? Anton was caught on the line. But Nakib Amohazik has got off to a flying start. And he's taken his brother alongside with him. And he was challenged and challenged as well, there's because Tazbe is actually out of the race, I think, because he didn't even start that one. He was on the line, so Alex is picked for the win there, and Pochi has got up in smoke. Tazbe well, will not be able Oh is it no because there was a car that stalled. Oh the luck loot. Once I got that there was a car that was stalled there, it looked like one of the Nissans as well. Luckily it was no it's Brody Steen, so everyone is away off the line cleanly. Everybody else has got away. Nakib and Nabil, a brotherly one too. Tasby in three. Inigo Anton, the best of the Filipinos in P4, but under pressure from Josh Perman and Brody Steen. You've just mentioned Mohamed Tasby. Tasby's now beginning to make a move on Nabil Aslan. And the Singaporean really comes onto the, to the back wheel. Got very, very close. Had to slam on the brakes. I love this cockpit view because it shows you just how undulating this course is. It's a, a beautiful circuit, the Bruno course. Oh, absolutely. Nabi has done a lot of favours for him for this particular season. More than makes up for the one where he cost him the championship ah, as he ah. comes across the final corner. We can never forget it. Naki Baslan takes the victory. Second win of the season. His brother Nabil holds off Tasby for P2. Underway. And it's Mohamed Khalid who is in pole position alongside oh. Nursh Aslan. And Nasri Aslan and Harris Zephy there. Harris Zephy into an early lead, Amohazik. Yep, he has actually made up for the last time I met in Salzburg Ring. He was on reverse grip pole, but bogged it and got tapped around. He's made up for that one now. He's trying to build on early lead. But behind him is Nabil. And he knows full well that these guys can easily swarm him if they get the opportunity. Oh, let's see if that will be the thing as he comes onto the inside here of Khalif. Does he make the move stake? No, he doesn't. They go side by side in equally colored cars. Number 27, a Nissan. And I don't think it's an actual livery when these cars race, but besides the boy, he's, they were kind of go up to turn 10 here. Another overtaking spot. It is possible. Thinks onto the inside, thinks about it, and does make it stake. And behind them, that looks like Moreno over the inside of Anton. But if when push comes to shove, he might actually just get his elbows out here to actually defend that position. But it's not being shown yet. He might actually do it now here as Nabil gets a better run coming out of turn. Nabil tries to go around the outside. Harris again just says, if you're going to take me on... Oh, Harris oh. then loses it. And Harris, oh, it's a mistake that sees him spin out and down the uh, standings. Gosh, from P1 down to P, what is he now? 12, 11, 12. Credit to Brody Steen, and I, I, I know we've seen him do relatively well in previous rounds, one particular race of Bathurst, but he's not able to hold on there as Tasby, contact between Brody Steen and Mohamed Tasby, but Tasby flexes Singaporean muscles against the Aussie beast. So there is Nakib, he's at the back of that train, he's got the double slipstream. Brody Steen, having lost one place, will really try to dig in. He's a doughty competitor, but he's up against genuine quality. The switchback tried by Naki Baslan. Is he able to hold on the inside? Brody Steen tries to force him out the way, but Naki with a fantastic overtaking maneuver. Wow, a different line there. Look at Naki Baslan. Naki is chasing around the outside of Tasby. Contact again. Tasby defends. Switchback effort from Nakib. It is the final lap sprint ammo. Yep, we, he, they just crossed it just in time. It was 1.49. A normal lap around here is about 1.47. In fact, look at that. 1.51 was the fastest lap that Tasby could set. So definitely this is the final lap. And Nabil is going to win it. Nakib will possibly be second. Well, let's just stick with Nakib for now. Nakib, uh, I'm sorry, Nabil Aslan as uh, Mohamed Tasby and Nakib battle away. So Nabil will take the victory. Nabil Aslan, but who has got P2? They are neck and neck, wheel to wheel, and it is going to be Tasby. Three tenths ahead of Nakib. Brody Steen holding off Josh Perwin.